Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an old Hank Williams Jr. tune called Family Tradition. And it starts on an E major chord, and the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that's called E major, and it sounds really, really happy. And on the E ma major, and for our intro, we kind of just are hanging out on the E major. And a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4, like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we did the E just with, with that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up. And then when we get to our verse, we, we got an E major and another E major. And then we go to A major. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. So big party on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And we're going to do two of the A majors. And then we're going to be going to a B dominant 7 chord or a B7 chord. And the way you play B7, first finger is going to go to the D on the first fret. Second finger on the A on the second fret. Third finger on the G string on the second fret. And the pinky on the high E on the second fret. And if you strum just the A string to the high E... I'm going to get your clearest sound with that. It's called B7. And it sounds really nasty, but it's kind of supposed to. And we're going to do three of the B7s, and then we're going to go back to the E major. And then we basically repeat that for our verse. So we tried that with our strum pattern. We have E down, up, up, down, up, E down, down, up, up, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 down,
lowest fifth note that we can play is an F sharp, which is on the E string on the second fret. So what you can do is the A string for your first bass, and then take your second finger and move it to the low E string for the low E second fret, and then kind of move back to the A string second fret, back to the low E on the second fret. So kind of alternating this, you have root on the A, down, up, move to second on the low E, down, up, move to the A string second, down, up, move to the low E on the second, down, up, B, or the A string, down, up, low E string, down. So we tried that all the way through our verse, we have the E with the low E bass, down up, A bass, down E with the low E bass, down up, A bass, down up, A with an A bass, down up, E with our low E bass, A with an A bass, E bass, and then B7 with an A bass on the second, move to the low E on the second, B7 with an A bass, down up, low E second, A bass on the second, low E bass on the second, low E string, or E major with an A bass, A bass, or E bass, A bass. And then we kind of start that over. You with the low E bass, down up, A bass, down, low E bass, A bass, A with an A bass, low E bass, A with an A bass, low E bass, B7 with an A bass, down up, move to second, A string bass, you with low E second, A string second, move to low E second, you with the low E bass, A string bass, you with the low E bass, down up, A bass, down. Now it can also sound really cool is to kind of throw in some some traditional bass, bass or bass walks, or country bass walks. So on the E major, for instance, in the intro even, it kind of sounds like you do a bass up on the E major, and then do second on the A, fourth fret on the A, and then first fret on the D to kind of lead back into the E major chord. So you got bass up two four one E major with a bass up two. And you can kind of do that same idea on the A major, for instance, to walk to the E. You can kind of take the E major and kind of do a bass down, up, and then go to two on the low E, and then four on the low E to walk into your A bass for your A major. And then on the A major, you could actually go, go fourth fret on low E, and then open A, and then first fret on the A, and then second fret on the A would be the bass on the B7. So you have A four O one two for the A or for the B seven bass. So this would be a little weird because you can you, you can kind of do that on, on the chord right before the next chord or the chord that you're moving to. So on the E major from the beginning of the verse you'd have low E bass down up A bass down up low E bass down up two four which leads to A major. part we got the E. And then randomly at the very very end, and I know they don't do this in the recording, when there's something I call a country tag, which at the very end on the E major you play open E, second fret on the low E, <clears throat> and then we do a hammer on the third, hammer on the fourth. So you got open E, two, three, four, it's kind of a hammer on, on, on the A string. So I'm kind of playing the first finger on the second fret, and putting my second finger down to carry the sound of third, putting my third finger down to carry the, the sound of fourth on that double hammer on part. So I got open E, two, three, four, and then you could go to the A string second and do a hammer on the fourth fret. So kind of putting, playing the second fret, and putting the finger down to kind of carry the sound, and then do a pull off to let the sound go back to the second fret on the A. So that's a hammer on pull off, and then you go to the D string for second fret. And then you can play a big E major at the end. So that be, might be a really cool traditional way to kind of end it since it's a very traditional country tune. It's kind of throwing in that country tag at the very end. But that's the basics of how you can strum through family tradition by Hank Williams Jr. So good luck! <laughs>